Oh yes, mama. Maybe I just watched too much Euphoria. So let me just get out that fantasy in my head. I wanna keep it all. She's a fun time girl. Guys, who likes my outfit today? I feel like it's kind of fun. I got some little converse on, some little brown trousers, a black belt, this white vest, and then this <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't really know what this video is going to be, you don't really know what, what's going to happen here. I hope you're... I hope you're what? I hope you're well. Very generic though, I feel like everyone says that. I hope you're feeling very vagina slay today. Vagina slay! I hope 2021 is treating you all great. The last video you'll have seen uploaded on this channel, I actually filmed in December, so I don't really know why it's going up in January, why it's the new year, why anyone even watched it. But if you did watch it, thanks a lot. I hope you're ready for this video. By clicking on this video, you've already signed up to what is probably going to be a mess. So just throwing out there, pre-warning, this thing. We're just gonna hang out for a little minute. We're gonna hang out and chat and catch up and I feel like it's been a while. I've been really MIA on this channel so I probably should address that before we actually get into today's video. If you wanna see what I've been up to and where I've been, I've literally just been nurturing my vlog channel and posting as much as I can on there. I absolutely love it there. Like that space just feels very safe and I feel like you guys enjoy that space as well. So I've just saw, not that this space doesn't feel safe, but I feel like I've got a bit more pressure on this channel and that's just very relaxed and my life and me and my boyfriend and me and my friends and I just love it. I love her. I love her. But does she love you though? What is that from? Is that Love Island? I will leave a link in the description and also on screen um, for my vlog channel if you want to see where I've been and if I stop uploading on this channel, I will be there as well as on my Instagram. Oh, I'm I a TikToker now too? Let's just self promo the f out of everything, bitch. It's January, it's 2022. We are approximately like 10 days into January and I just feel ugly. I feel like I expected New Year to come around, the bells to chime, the fireworks to boom, my pussy to pop, and me to feel hot, sexy, and dangerous. But instead, I'm feeling cold, safe, and prude. Was that right? I also have been watching Euphoria. Ah! I also have my contacts in for the first time in probably six months, so if I look like I want to rip my eyes out, it's not because I keep catching a little glimpse of myself in the viewfinder and thinking, Byron, you look fucking awful. It's because I actually have tiny bits of plastic just floating around in there to help me see you better. And bitch, you're looking ugly. <laughs> Good job I can't smell you through the screen. Damn, you stinky little bitch. Anyway, I just thought I would treat myself. I've been feeling a bit ugh, and I've been feeling a bit ah, and I'm oh! I've just found my boyfriend's nose ring on the floor that he went, that went missing a little while ago. So Lewis, if you're watching, can tell I've not hoovered the floors in a while. <laughs> I basically, long story short, ordered a bunch of clothes off ASOS to try and spice my life up a bit. I said to myself, Byron, even if you don't keep any of the clothes, at least try them on, feel like a hot girl for one minute. Like, just let me have a moment of silence and a moment of, I think these clothes are pretty and I I don't have an excuse. I've been sat here for the past like five minutes trying to think of a reason as to why I actually ordered all these clothes, um, but I quite frankly don't have a reason. I think maybe I went a little bit overboard, I can't lie, like for what? For what reason? What was the reason? Let's just get into it, I guess. So, in this bag is self-confidence. I feel like I think that I'm gonna order stuff online and it's gonna like come shipped with confidence and like sexiness and the ability to look fly, hot and cute. But she was nothing of the sort. She was nothing like that. I picked up this. I do this every time. I always find some sort of twinky little mesh moment that I feel like would look good on every other boy ever on Instagram, but not me. Maybe this could be cute, like underneath something. Size extra small, sweet eh? At least I know I'm a twink, do you know what I mean? At least there's not false hope that. Babes, it's been Christmas. I don't know why I thought I was still as skinny as I was. Oh my God, I don't even think I can get this on. <sighs> my Lord Jesus Christ, this is tight. If you've seen the video where I actually ordered stuff drunk off ASOS, you'll have seen that I actually ordered a little mesh t-shirt then, and I thought it looked cool in photos, but then I would never have actually wore it out. And I feel like this is going to be the same thing. Also, the neck's really quite baggy compared to the rest of the fabric. If I had nice biceps and a nice chest, a little bit of abs, this could be quite a fun little moment. I feel like this is a very like gay boy club outfit. Like a mesh t-shirt and dancing like. Maybe I just watched too much Euphoria, so let me just get out that fantasy in my head. But I think this is quite cool. I really like the colour of it as well. Uh. I feel like I went through a stage of buying denim jackets. And I thought I were over that stage because when have you ever actually seen me wear a denim jacket? 
the microphone's there if you want to speak into it. Um, but this silence is giving me the answer that no one's ever seen me in a denim jacket, nor can I recall ever seeing myself in a denim jacket. Weird how I have so many. I have a denim jacket that's exactly like this. This is the problem. Um, new drinking game. When you realise Byron has a problem, take a shot. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Mama. Ignore the denim on denim. Like, I like denim on denim, but I feel like this denim on denim is not really working. But the fit, like the crop, the fit of this jacket. Exquisite. Exquisite. <laughs> I love jeans. Like, I actually love jeans. The flavors are just melting on my tongue. There's a brand called 80s and they have the most incredible jeans, but I just can't bring myself to buy expensive jeans. And I wear the same pair of jeans all the time, so it'd probably be worth investing in, like a really nice pair of jeans. Do I want to bring myself to do it when I can go on ASOS and go on Collusion and get some sexy jeans for half the price? These would look really cool with this hat and this vest, actually. Maybe it does all work. Maybe I'm a stylist. Maybe. So I just picked these up. I really only picked them up because I like the colour of the denim with the white contrast stitch. And then I also love this little detail. Like little things like this is what sells me about clothes. I also weirdly like this like canvas tag on the jeans. I also weirdly like this like canvas. I don't know why I just said that again. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna say it again. I like this. You're coming home with me. I then saw this. I love Jaded London and I think they do some really cool stuff. However, I do, I am aware that they rip off a lot of smaller designers, but I feel like doesn't everyone at this point. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I enjoy this. And I think I thought that the mesh top could go under this just because it's the type of vest that I wouldn't necessarily, I would never really wear a vest out. I like wearing vests around the house. I feel like I'm trying to be like a cool, trendy, like, boy but then out in public do i really want people to be looking at my arms also this has holes in it is it meant to have holes in it i really like the print and i like how the print sits up to like the neckline and like under the stitching but i think i would prefer it if it were a t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt i feel like it would be cooler if it were a long sleeve maybe that being said i don't hate it but i don't love it either it's not worth the money. I don't think it's worth the money, honey. I then picked up this, which looks a very different colour online. I basically saw a photo online, I'll insert here, of a boy, and I just wanted to recreate this photo, basically. I thought it looked really cool. But I didn't have a jumper that was, in fact, that colour. So I bought this from Collusion, thinking it would be a similar colour to that. And it does look... This is so bizarre. Maybe it just photographs and shows up on camera as, like, a slate grey. But in real life, it's got, like, a green... I'm literally looking in my viewfinder now and thinking that is the colour that it looked on the website and that is the colour that I want it to be. But you're gonna have to trust me in believing that in real life there's like a green tinge to it and it also looks very like heavyweight online. And it's not that heavyweight, but maybe it'll be cute. Um, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. I don't really like how it fits. Like I normally like really drop shoulder jumpers. I feel like I could jump off a building and fly like a flying squirrel in this. Not the greatest. It's comfy, don't get me wrong. Um, but in real life, it's not the colour that I wanted it to be. It's just not giving me the energy I want to have in 2022. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is so cute. I picked this up on like a whim. And I think it'll either be really cute or it's one of the things I'm going to look back at and think, Byron, why on earth? Did you wear that? I'm hoping that's not gonna be the outcome and I'm hoping I'm gonna look back and think that's so cute. Because how f***ing cute is this? A little Tom and Jerry jumper with those jeans actually. I feel like actually I did. Everything kind of does match. Oh! Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is so cute. I wanna keep it all. This is so freaking cute. A little Tom and Jerry moment. I'm sorry. This is adorable. I feel like such a cutesy little cutesy. What a sad little life, Jane, that I can't keep any of this. I keep farting so bad, I'm so glad you don't have smell of vision because thankfully they're very silent currently. But let's just say they smell. Why am I telling you what my f***ing fart smells like? This is just one of those things that I feel like I would see someone in and think, oh my god, yes, I need that. But then the reality of it looking cool on me is not that high, but I just love the texture of the wool. Like it looks really like fuzzy and like, the Grinch stole Christmas, but make it like fucking cool. The Grinch stole Christmas is cool actually, so make it extra cool. It just reminds me of something like straight out of Whoville. I'm loving it. I have real high hopes for this because I feel like, especially that like, with a tan, I really don't know why I think it's so <sighs> Maybe 
Maybe with a t-shirt underneath. Maybe this would actually look better with a t-shirt underneath. Like maybe this is where I'm going wrong in trying to wear it with a vest underneath. I don't know if the model had a vest on. Really like how high the neck is. I normally hate v-necks when they come down too far because I'm not a big fan of my chest. We're working on it. She's a fun time girl. You know what, I take it back. I do actually really like this. I think this is fun and it's fresh. I probably wouldn't wear this colour jean with it, but I like the fact that the jeans match the, do you know what I mean? Maybe with some like green. Maybe with like a green, you can't even see that they're green in this light. Trust me, these are like the green donks. Um, there's potential. This is delicious. Oh, what the hell? Is the model wearing a hood underneath? Oh, this is very um, deceiving. Not that I really mind. I think the model were wearing a hoodie underneath this, so I were led to believe that it came with a hood. Oh, he is. The model's wearing a hood underneath. The jacket. This is the jacket by the way, I've not even showed it yet. I kind of like that it doesn't have the hood under because I thought to myself it would be really cool without the hood under. How cool is this? Like even if any girls are watching this, imagine this with like a little cropped white vest. Not cropped but like, do you like a, so you can see a little bit of stomach, a little bit of panty showing. Some low jeans, some low denim jeans and some like white Nike Air Force with some fun sunglasses. I feel like this could be a vibe. <laughs> This jacket, however, I am in love with. I'm sorry, my loves, but I'm obsessed. This jacket is everything I hoped for, everything I wanted. I, I love it. I'm literally in love. Oh, this is giving me ultimate cool dad vibes. That's what I'm going for. Cool dad vibes. This is really bad, but I want to keep it all. I'm trying to devise a plan of how I can keep it all. Maybe I'll sell my body for the value of the ASOS order. Anyway, yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this video. I don't really know what this was. I just wanted to try, I just wanted an excuse to order clothes. And I feel like if I order clothes and then show you guys the clothes, it makes me feel like I'm doing something productive. Hopefully this also inspires you to get some cool outfits. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Go subscribe to my vlog channel. Follow me on Instagram. Um, and I'm actually gonna go for a poo because I've been holding it in this entire video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye. Bye. I don't know what that little thing was. That reminds me of like Fantastic Mr. Fox. <whistles> Stay hot, sexy, and cute in 2022. Bye. Also, I'm going to try upload once a week on this channel. Um, so stick around, maybe, sometimes. I'm going to shit. Bye. <laughs>